everyone, this is Kate Morrison checking in with a real quick tutorial for Google Jamboards. Um, Google Jamboards is basically an interactive whiteboard tool. It's similar in a lot of ways to Padlet, but one key difference is that Jamboards are included in the Google for Education tools. Um, and as a district, we have a subscription to them um, and they're super easy to use. They save automatically and you can assign them in your Google Classroom so all students can participate. Um, so here's a few samples. Uh, you can do some story mapping. You can do some brainstorming with students or a quick check-in activity as part of a morning meeting. Um, or you can do some compare contrast. So the way you get to Google Jamboards, there's two ways. You can type in jamboard.google.com or you can go to what I call your waffle, which is where all your Google apps live. And the Jamboard icon um, is right here. Orange, yellow, looks a little bit like a musical note here. When you click on the Jamboard, you're going to get an untitled jam. Uh, the first thing I like to do is make sure to put a title on there. You can share this to your students and you can put it on your Google Classroom and make a copy for each student or make it collaborative and all students are editing the same jam. Um, over here, you have your whiteboard tools and essentially, you, know, you can put text boxes on there, you can put sticky notes, you can put images. I like to search for graphic organizers, save them on my computer and pop them in there as an image and a background. You can also do that through set background here. Um, so again, any questions that you have, feel free to reach out, but some wonderful uses for this, graphic organizers, collaborative storytelling, visual brainstorming. You can even do an art gallery of student work up there. So the sky is the limit. And if you are in a role that does a little bit more PD, um, these are also really fun tools for staff meetings um, and things like that. Thanks for tuning in.